Tesla's sporty two-seater robo-taxi design puzzles experts. Yeah, I bet it does. Good job I'm good at puzzles then here at the Tesla Jigsaw. This today from Reuters? Retars? How do you say it? Retars? Reuters. Tesla's reveal of a robo-taxi designed as a low-slung two-seater sports coupe, quite the opposite of a typical taxi with room for several passengers and luggage, flummoxed, oh, <laughs> great word, flummoxed investors and analysts. What a surprise, investors and analysts don't understand what they've just witnessed. It's too cool looking, it can't possibly be a taxi. Where have I heard that before? That can't be a truck, it's not truck shaped. CEO Elon Musk served up the cool design for the prototype of the Tesla robo-taxi, dubbed Cybercab, at a much-hyped event near Los Angeles late on Thursday. These will go into production sometime in 2026 and cost less than $30,000 a pop, he said. Eventually. But in true Musk's style, he skipped over expectations of how a two-seater robo-taxi would serve the needs for families heading to a restaurant or to the airport. Or if he expected these to apply only to a niche clientele. Oh yes, a tiny weeny niche clientele of people. With a two-seater cybercab, Tesla is aiming to capture just 90% of customers' taxi needs. You see, 90% of taxi rides offer single or twin occupancy. But here's a couple more solutions to Reuters' perplexing questions of how to move more than two people at a time. Number one, don't order a cybercab. Order a different Tesla instead. Maybe a Model S, 3X or Y. Or maybe treat yourself to a Cybertruck. All these will be available to summon from your phone before the cybercab even becomes available. As explained in the presentation. Or how about this genius idea I've just had ready? Order two cybercabs. I know, I don't know how I come up with these amazing problem solving ideas either. Just when I think I'm a normal everyday idiot, I knock it out of the park with something like that. And because cybercabs will be so much more affordable to travel in due to electric drivetrains being the cheapest method of propulsion, plus there will be no driver to pay for his time, two cybercabs will still be as cheap as chips. Oh my goodness, I've done it again. I've had another idea. You could order three or more. But what if you needed to transport 20 people in one go? That'll be a job for the robo-van. Reuters pondering the question of whether these will just appeal to only a niche clientele? Think, Reuters, think! Investors jeered the design. Hang on a minute, just need to double check something. Jeer. Make rude and mocking remarks, typically in a loud voice. That's me! Investors jeered the design and the lack of financial details, with Tesla's stock tumbling 9% on Wall Street on Friday. Tesla dropped 6% after unveiling the Vaporware Cybertruck in 2019. In fact, Autonomy Day, Cybertruck Unveil, Battery Day, AI Days, Cybertruck Delivery Event, all these events typically led to negative stock reactions, suggesting a pattern where Tesla's stock drops around major company events, possibly due to high expectations not being met by people who can't think very well, or buy the rumour, sell the news, investor behaviour. People making money who spot the pattern behaviour every time an event like this happens. Personally, I couldn't give a monkeys about the share price today. I'm a long-term Tesla shareholder and believe more than ever that Tesla will be the most valuable company on earth and along with it provide the most value to humanity. Not investment advice, I'm just another plonker on YouTube. Do your own research, blah de blah blah blah. When you think of a cab, you think of something that's going to carry more than two people, said Jonathan Elphelan, vehicle testing director of the automotive website Edmunds.com. Making this a two-seater car is very perplexing. Once more for everybody, for 90% of the time, current taxis are carrying one to two people. Order a different Tesla or daisy chain multiple cybercabs for that 10% of the time. Problem solved. Tesla did not respond to an email asking for comment. That's weird, isn't it? I heard that Tesla loves wasting their time explaining the obvious to news outlets rather than cracking on with building as a better future. Experts said robo-taxis would best emulate regular taxis with plenty of room, a tall design and sliding doors. I wonder if these experts have considered the implications of ultimate efficiency. Precisely because it's a two-seater, relatively small, minimalist vehicle, which does have an enormous boot, by the way, check this out. Sorry I can't credit you, I don't know where I stole the photo from. The cost per mile of travel, as Elon mentioned on stage, will be something like 20 cents per mile, probably about 20p. Tell me why these experts think that Tesla should emulate regular taxis again? Carrying around the extra weight of three seats for 90% of the time, affecting efficiency? 
Should Tesla have emulated the internal combustion engine instead of EVs? Honestly, we're trying to break the mould of traditional transport and energy. Understand that Tesla is in the unique position to out-innovate, out-manufacture and continue to push the technologies of electric vehicles, autonomy, battery energy storage solutions, software and artificial intelligence, sustainable energy solutions. Sticking to what we know will never be a mantra for any of Elon Musk's companies. They will rewrite what it is to be a taxi, just as Tesla has rewritten what it is to be the world's best-selling car with the electric Model Y, and for the Cybertruck to have rewritten what it is to be a truck, and SpaceX rewriting what it is to be a rocket. They can now be reused, if you didn't know, rather than dispensable, which was somehow the solution to space travel before SpaceX came along. Can we just take a brief moment to remind ourselves of what Elon Musk and his employees are capable of by watching this Big Ben-sized booster land gracefully on a pair of capturing chopsticks? This will allow for rapid reusability of rockets and was a monumental moment in history that most people don't even know just happened. It's so tragic. Quick story, I was at Fully Charged Live on Sunday. Lots of us gathered around a big screen TV to watch this SpaceX launch and we were jumping for joy when this thing got caught. We were able to stream this live to our Tesla Owners Club trailer thanks to the Starlink terminal we set up beside it, giving us super fast and reliable satellite internet, thanks only to SpaceX. After the launch, I was due on stage with Robert Llewellyn, Jack Scarlett and other speakers where I went off on a rant about the exciting future that Tesla is building us with autonomous cars, sustainable energy solutions and highlighted the recent Tesla RoboTaxi reveal. The impossible SpaceX rocket catch I just witnessed using Starlight Communication to watch the launch and was met with maybe 10% applause, 90% silent, confused scepticism. Most people have no idea what's going on. Autonomy will never happen. Useful humanoid robots will never happen. Robotaxes will never happen. Just how much evidence do people need to see before realising that Elon Musk is capable of building the impossible, as he has already done time and time and time again? I just think it would be nice to share these spectacular achievements, be proud of what us humans are capable of. Not me, obviously, clever people. And rather than continued miserable pessimism about everything Elon related, perhaps it's time to celebrate these groundbreaking achievements or have an ounce of optimism for success when Tesla shows us things like these. And back to the article. Musk did showcase a futuristic robo-van that could seat up to 20 people, but did not say when that would be available. Little side note, he didn't say it would seat 20 people, he said it would transport 20 people. I counted 14 seats in this particular configuration. I'm sure it could change though, couldn't it? Again, people are losing their minds over Elon's counting skills and claiming he said 20 seats when he actually said... So this can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. As for availability, this will obviously be determined once Tesla has clearly solved full self-driving, to the point where it is many times safer than any human driver, and has regulatory approval. Bit tricky to nail down a solid date with this one, but let's go for a week next Thursday. The market for two-door robo-taxis would be very limited, said Sanjeet Rayo, a senior researcher at Leverage Shares, an investment management company with assets of about $1 billion, including Tesla. Well, that shows the level of research Sandeep has done regarding average taxi occupancy. Once again, two seats suffice in most scenarios. Two-door vehicles account for just 2% of car sales in the US, excluding SUVs and pickups, according to data from analytics firm JD Power. What on earth has two-door vehicle sales got to do with this? What do you want, four doors on a two-seater robo-taxi just because 98% of vehicles sold in the US have four doors? That makes sense, doesn't it? Am I missing something there? Musk said he wanted to make robo-taxis cheaper than mass transit to operate and predicted an operating cost of 20 cents per mile over the time for the cybercab. Wow, a sensible sentence. Cling on to that one and let's see how long this lasts. But he did not say how quickly Tesla could mass-produce cybercabs and secure regulatory approval, or how it would beat Alphabet's Waymo, which already operates robotaxis in some US cities. What was I saying about sensible sentences? Waymo's high operational costs, reliance on expensive technology, limited scalability due to its business model and its autonomous solution, which is flawed anyway, and the slow pace of achieving full autonomy contribute to scepticism about its long-term financial sustainability. 
I've covered this many times, Tesla has the only scalable, affordable solution to autonomy. Waymo has a fleet of about 700 Jaguar Land Rover cars that fit four passengers, same as the seating capacity in Amazon Zook's robo-taxi. Waymo's former CEO John Krafkick said Tesla's design looked more playful than serious and that the two-door configuration posed challenges for older passengers and those with disabilities. Order one from the sexy lineup instead, or if you need a ramp, a robo-van. Delivering the robo-taxi and capturing a still nascent and tightly regulated market will be critical for Tesla. Musk this year scrapped plans to build a smaller, cheaper vehicle amid slowing EV demand <sighs> and shifted focus to advancing Tesla's autonomous ambitions. The robo-taxi business could catapult Tesla's valuation to $5 trillion, he said, from about $700 billion now. Two-seaters have been proposed for decades as commuter vehicles. They just haven't taken off, says Sam Fiorani, vice president at research firm Auto Forecast Solutions. That's partly because one of those seats are taken up with a driver, not so for an autonomous two-seater. Tesla will eventually need to build larger robo-taxis, he said. Hmm, we'll see. Blake Anderson, senior investment analyst at Carson Group, a Tesla investor, said that if the cyber cap is supposed to be a lower cost, mass market model to widen Tesla's appeal, the two-seat design doesn't make sense. It's probably a way they can introduce something quick to the market, he said. Widen Tesla's appeal? This isn't the compact, more affordable Tesla. The cyber cap's purpose is to transform the way we travel through autonomy. The future Model 2 compact 25k Tesla will be built on this platform and will come with at least four seats. Tesla mentioned in their earnings release in July 2024 that plans for new vehicles, including more affordable models, remain on track for production starting in the first half of 2025. So, are you still puzzled by Tesla's sporty two-seater robo-taxi design as some experts are according to this headline? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Chuck us a like and subscribe before you go. It's free to do and helps me out no end. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.